If we go to the front now, um, here I've got the catch to open this up and then slide it back because here is where you mount this, uh, where you glue this uh, orange plastic there to hold the front of the canopy in place. Uh, what I have done is I have mounted uh, a servo in here. I can't remember what it is, it's nothing special, not a special servo at all. Uh, and I took some, it's like reinforced cardboard that I had from some packing some time ago. And all I did was I just cut out a square section and the same size of the servo, you can see the indentation there. And then I hot glued it in place and then I hot glued this sort of reinforced high density cardboard, if, if you think of it like that. Um, a lot of a lot of Velcro in here just to hold the battery in place. I got a mark there just to show sort of where I should place my four cell battery just so I can get a good CG. So I balanced it up as best as I can. So we'll see how that works today. Uh, I got this external UBEC. I learned from a previous crash in my FP Reraptor that the stock ESC can blow up and it did. And I had a nose dive. Luckily it was only from 20 meters completely out of control, nothing I could do about it. So I did not use the the BEC from the ESC. I'm using this UBEC instead. Uh, that one's a hobby wing uh, 5 amp max, uh, sorry 5 amp max 7.5 amp. Um, so that, that's pretty good. I've used one like that in my Raptor for whoa, a good five months now and had no problems with it whatsoever. So all the flight systems are being powered off of that one. Um, and what I did was, you've got to be very, very careful. Probably a lot of you know this already. But you see here I have uh, wrapped up the positive and negative from the ESC. I'm not using that at all. I'm not connecting that to my systems because obviously if I power it from the UBEC in the front and power this one as well I'm going to blow the whole system so don't do that just take the signal wire from the the ESC and then just with a little knife uh, you can see there's an orange wire going in here let's see if we can get close into it uh, there's an orange wire going in here all I did was I just uh, uh, poked it out of this servo connector and stuck it in the one that came from the UBEC and, and threw that into the throttle out of the OSD Pro. So be careful, don't do that. Don't don't throw in the, the power from the ESC and the UBEC, otherwise you're just going to fry the whole lot. Uh, another thing as well, um, Dragon Link has, uh, I couldn't find any information about this and that's taken the RSSI um, the, the information wasn't so clear on the places where I was uh, I was searching so there is on that bottom connector there the one closest to the the antenna uh, you see a servo connector coming out there and it's got three wires coming out of it and that's just because I've been lazy I just took a servo um, extension cable I've plugged that in there but all you need you don't need no fancy uh, I can't even remember what they're called, but I think they try and sell these buffers or whatever they're called. Um, you don't need that. Uh, if you just uh, if you just take the the white uh, cable out from here, and then you plug it into. Let's see if I can pull it out. Hopefully, there's a bit of slack in here. No, there isn't. Um, if you can see in here. Temperature 1, the white cable, the white pin, if you just connect the signal out from the, the RSSI out on your, on your um, Dragon Link, if you just connect the white cable to the white temperature 1 input, then it works fine. Uh, and you get, uh, you get your RSSI if you go into the Eagle Tree OSD settings and so on and say temperature one is RSSI, uh, set that all up, 
follow the instruction manual, then it's fine. You don't need any buffers, any external equipment, or anything like that. Just take white cable, uh, just take a white cable from RSSI out, white signal pin to temperature one, white signal pin. Yep. Hopefully that helps you. A very very easy way to see what kind of uh, signal strength you have if you've got a drag meaning system. One thing I did notice was um, in the beginning I actually connected up the ground wire as well from the RSSI out to temperature one and I watched my OSD and I looked at the, the power consumption, the milliamp hours, and that was just, well, that was just racing up. It took seconds for it to, to get up to uh, 100 milliamps. So I quickly unplugged that and then I, I just tried the signal and it worked. So just do that. Keep it simple. Don't go buying any extra components if you've got Dragon Link. And that's the latest Dragon Link. I only bought it, I think, whoa, a couple of months ago. And I'm recording this video in uh, um, June 2013. Let me see, have I missed anything before I kill this video? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, the stock motor in here um, with the folding propeller. Now be very careful. I, I made a mistake. If you whack on full throttle on this thing when the propeller is in this particular stage, uh, because of its being imbalanced and not necessarily opening at the you know the uniform rate both blades, then the motor just rips itself out. So don't do that. When you're going to throttle up when the, when the propeller is in this particular state, throttle up very, very lightly, not even 50%, let's say 25% or something, just to get the blades out and then you can power up. So do not put through full throttle um, when you are, uh, uh, when the propeller is like this. Uh, another thing as well, if you're going to buy the XA Combo, buy yourself one of these. Uh, this is the... Um, Programming card for the ESC that's on uh, on BBRC's website. Uh, these are the settings that I have: LiPo battery, obviously, RPM off, soft start. Uh, because it's a fold and prop, I have gone brake on, uh, power power cut off uh, or cut off power reduce. I've just left the default here of 60%. The rotation I've put in reverse. And that's just because it was difficult. Once I had plugged in the wires from the motor and the EAC, it's really, really difficult for me to get my hands down the back there. So it was much, much easier just for me to set that to be reverse, and then it was okay. And then um, uh, timing is just set to, to auto. And all you do, just to program this, is make sure you put your signal wire, you have your signal wire here, you have it connected into this servo connector with the positive and ground and then you plug in uh, you plug into this these set of pins here the minus plus and P or P is the orange wire the signal wire and what you do uh, just set up your settings however you, you know want it whatever your application is set them up put all the jumper settings in the right place Stick in the servo connector from the from the ESC here, and then power up the ESC. And if all's working okay, I think you get this one long tone. Otherwise, it starts to uh, have some other kinds of tones and so on. And then you know that it's not um, yeah, it's not set properly. You need to power off and try again. Do yourself a favor if you're going to buy the X8 combo, just buy this. Uh, all of the stuff came pretty really quickly but this seemed to take another um, another way from from uh, BBRC to, to Sweden so this actually took two and a half weeks to come and uh, I didn't want to trust the settings on the on the, the ESC because I didn't know if there was going to be a break and I didn't want to ruin my propellers uh, when I came into land and they weren't actually stopping so uh, yeah hope you find this um, 
this video useful. Um, uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos coming up and uh, give me a thumbs up if you felt this was interesting. Uh, feel free to comment if you want any more information just uh, leave me a comment and uh, I'll try and answer it or throw up another video to, to help you out. So good luck if you're going to buy one of these. Cheers.